uh, we're, we're here representing Farm Sanctuary, which is a, a sanctuary farm system that was started in 1986. Uh, there's two locations, there's one in upstate New York and one in uh, Northern California in Orland. Um, and we're here today because we're the organizers of the San Francisco Walk for Farm Animals, which is a fundraising walk that supports the national efforts of Farm Sanctuary. Um, farm Sanctuary basically is an opportunity for animals that were a part of the factory farming system and for a million different reasons weren't brought to slaughter. They're allowed to live out their lives happily with excellent medical care, um, no expectations on them, all of their, excre all of their excretions, the milk, the, the eggs, everything is recycled, fed back to animals or disposed of, that sort of thing. Um, and the animals at Farm Sanctuary uh, act as ambassadors to other animals that are still part of the system. When people go to Farm Sanctuary, they take the tour, they get to meet the animals and see what they would look like in their sort of natural state, how they would live if they were allowed to live the way they wanted to. So one of the great examples is the pigs. There's a number of pigs that live on the farm. They've, they're, they're massive, they're happy, and they're the cleanest animals on the farm. I did an internship there um, for a full summer about three years ago. One of my jobs was to clean out the animals, like, pens, and I never had to clean the pigs' pens because they were clean and they had beds that they made and they liked to keep that way. So, yeah, I mean, you know, pigs tend to sleep about 23 hours a day. Um, they usually just kind of wake up to waddle outside, do their business, and then come back and snuggle back into their, into their beds. They have a really interesting family system that they've created, and, and you know, one of the things that Farm Sanctuary does is help to dispel the myths. Most, most people are brought up to think pigs are filthy, they're sort of, you know, just disgusting. And I think that mentality helps to sort of marginalize them. It makes it easier for people to eat them and kill them if they're not thought of as being, you know, important animals. So when they're seen in their happy and clean and healthy environments, it really helps to change public perception.